What's up? This is Raheem Brock, number 98, Seattle Seahawks. Shout out to Vlad TV, VladTV.com. So you're a restricted free agent now. Yeah. So what's going on with that? Man, I'm just uh, man early. with the with the lockout and everything going on. You know, I'm just waiting to see what happens because um, the lockout. We, you know, we don't know if we're gonna have football next year, so um, that changes changes a lot of things. So right now, I'm just waiting to see about everything. You know, free agency and lockout. Right. Um, I guess it's funny because in the NFL, compared to the NBA, for example, mm. uh, the NBA also is going to go through something similar where well, they mm. don't know if they're going to have a lockout next year or, or, or you know, not. And you don't really hear it get talked about like that with the NFL. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So wh why is that? Why is it like I, I, not as vocal? I, I have no clue. But I mean, once it comes around, if there is yeah. a lockout, yeah. you know, football is the most watched sport in the country. So exactly. once there is a lockout, it's then gonna I mean, everybody's going to notice, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think it will get more vocal once it hits uh, uh, February or March and people will start noticing like what's going on and they'll talk about it more in the draft and stuff like that. Right. But um, I mean, Right now, it's kind of quiet. I don't know why, but I'm sure it'll speed up. It'll, it'll Probably everybody. because of the postseason and people. Really yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's yeah. It yeah. might be that you know the Super Bowl is around the corner and yeah, yeah, yeah. the season's still going on. So everybody's not thinking about next season like that. When you was with the Colts and you had a great, yeah. I'm, I mean, you had your, your numbers <laughs> with the Colts. I mean, uh, you Mathis and Free. I mean, yeah. and Freeney, Yeah, y'all, y'all did your thing. But why did you ask to be waived? Like, what exactly was going on there? Well, I mean, I love Indianapolis. I had a lot of, I, I achieved a lot of goals there, you know, um, playing with Peyton and, and, and Reggie, Dwight and Robert, and uh, all the guys there for, for eight years. But, you know, I wanted to be one of the key guys on the defense, mm -hmm. you know, like kind of kind of like how Dwight is and, and Robert. Um, even though I did, you know, I did my thing there, you know, I was yeah. helping out, you know, we used, to, we, used to, we used the big three, yeah, we used the big exactly. three, but, yeah. you know, I, I wanted to rush from an end, you mm -hmm. know, and, and try to get to the quarterback a little bit more, and I didn't get enough, I didn't get enough opportunity there. Okay. So, you know, I asked them to release me, which was a, a, a big pay cut that I had to take, but I didn't want to be like, you know what I'm saying, years from now, think about, you know, what what what, what could have been what it could have been like you know if I would have been you know the guy on the team you know the, the one of the head guy the main guys on the on the defense you know so um, I had to take that chance you know I asked them to release me you know um, it cost me a couple mil you know to take that chance um, you know I went to Seattle you know it was it was a perfect defense for me you know the scheme was perfect for 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 how I play and. Um, once I learned the defense, man, everything just started clicking and, you know, I, I fit right in. You know, I was just blessed. And my, it's a blessing, man, a, a great opportunity that I just tried to take advantage of. And I just had a great season this year. And another thing happened was when the Titans picked you up a month later. Oh, yeah, yeah, after I left Indy. Yeah, I mean, what, what happened there? Uh, I mean, they had, they, had a guy, they had a couple guys there already, you know. Yeah. Um, they were just injured. And right. then uh, the contract. That was one of the talks because it was they had a deep line. Yeah. So when you signed up, it was like, okay, yeah, this might be serious. Yeah. But um, I the contract that they gave me was like, you know, if I get hurt or you know sprain my ankle or something like that, then they could cut me. So you know, I was kind of like, you know, if I get hurt, then it's then it's over. So I didn't, I probably didn't go as hard as I could have. Mm -hmm. And um, but I mean, I went I went hard. It was just it was a tough situation. And um, it just didn't work out, you know. But I mean, I, it was a blessing, kinda, because I ended up in Seattle. Yeah. You know, um, you know, Pete Carroll gave me gave me an opportunity, um, and it was just the perfect situ situation for me. You know, they needed an extra guy pass rushing. Yeah. You know, they had Chris Clemens on the other side. Right. Um, and it was just a perfect fit. I had to work my way back back into uh, to to get uh, more reps, and. Um, since then, it was just everything was clicking.